it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. Important message. This video has part one and part two. It is a giveaway. And if you want to participate in the giveaway, you have to leave a comment on the part two video. It'll be the second video after this. I had some technical difficulties and I had to split it in half. So please, if you want to participate in the giveaway, you'll have to go over to part two and leave a comment, any comment, okay? I will do the drawing off of part two. And I don't think I can be any clearer. <laughs> so if you leave a comment in part one, you will not be part of the drawing. I had problems and so in part one I talked to you about probably what you're gonna win. Okay, I had to split the video in half. So it'll continue on part two and that's where you'll leave your comment to participate in the giveaway. I don't announce giveaways on my title because it just invites trolls and I want my subscribers and the people that watch my videos to win prizes. <laughs> I hope y'all are cool with that, but this is not going to happen again with a giveaway. I'm going to make sure it's all in one video. It's just, I worked too hard on this video to delete it. And I've been working at it for a couple hours and it, it, my other phone overheated. I had to start over and I think because it overheated it, I don't know. It, it just, I had to run a cleaner in my video is really strange. So anyways, enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing better today. Um, kind of tidied up my, my room. It was a hot mess. I didn't change the boys' sheets on the couch until today. Usually I do it every Wednesday night, but yeah, I'm actually able to eat something and it not run through me in three hours. TMI, but yeah, it was bad. But last night I ate and everything went well. <laughs> oh, also I want to apologize last night I've been in kind of a haze, but I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see what I was doing through most of the video. I mean, I realized it a little too late, but I, what, I, there's, I did not have the energy to start over. So, um, I'll try to be a little more mindful there. I, I understand it's annoying and I didn't mean to do that. You guys know that, but, um, I'm going to, try to do things a little different. Um, I, I want to share what I've been doing. I, um, I finished this week, I finished one boggy blanket. And then over the past couple days, I have, I put together squares that I made um, during last this past year's boggy blanket drive, but I was able to um, put, I, I actually remembered how to put my granny squares together. There for a while, I kind of had like, I don't know, just in a fog. So, but let me, let me, I'm gonna back you up so you can see what, I've got only a couple more squares to do. Uh, I did a couple of these a couple of years ago, sent them to Boggy Creek, but this year I did not get these finished, but I've got, I think I'm going to just do one more square. What do y'all think? Or should I, well, I need to measure it. Actually, let me measure it real quick and you guys can, I'm going to let you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I did that. I believe I did that. Anyways. Okay. Oh, so. Here's my tape measure. I found my tape measure that matches my Vera Bradley bag. My purple bag. 
so it's 42 by Forty, so I think we're good whoops <laughs> but yeah so I'm just gonna do that that last square the yarn that I'm using is some of that village yarn that Hirschner's um, sold a couple years ago let me go get a couple skeins and I'll share that with you I'm back Okay, these are the yarns that I did in this blanket. So, like the green, but I doubled it up because it's kind of thin. It's a number four, but it's a thin number four. So I held two together with all the colors. So this was one of the colors. This was one of the colors. And the yarn is called Soft Snuggle by Village Yarn. And it's a number four. And each skein is 100% acrylic and 218 yards, but it's really soft yarn. I, I enjoy working with it. And I paid a dollar a skein. Yeah, is that not crazy? And then the white also is soft snuggle. I don't know if they still carry this, um, but the, uh, the multicolored, was Soho, what does it say, Twirly World. So I used this in some of the blankets that I sent to Boggy Creek. This blanket, I was using this color. Not those beautiful colors. And the color, they, they call it Party, P-A-R-T-I. I mean, each color, hey Susie. Hey, pink girl. Here's my girl. Come here. Come here. Sit down. This one's called Purple Blue Multi. And then this was another color. I can only get like one bag and then it was sold out. This one's a number three. It says the party yarn is considered a number three. It's the same size as the other solid colors. But I held two together. And this one's called Pastel Multi. I don't think they sell that anymore. And this one, I told you party. But yeah, those were the yarns that I used in this. And I think I also have a pink, but I didn't put pink in this blanket, so I didn't pull out the pink. But the pink is the same brand. Sorry, I'm not in full view. But the pink is the same brand yarn. But I really enjoyed working with this yarn. I just, after a year, <laughs> after like three boggy blankets, I was like, okay, we need to use a different yarn. You know me, I gotta move on or ch change it up every now and then. That's the way my brain works. It drives some people crazy, but I am who I am. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to continue to bag yarn, but also I'm going to do some other things um, like this um, and share what I'm working on. I have been sick, so I haven't worked on a lot. Um, one of the projects I haven't worked on, hang on, I want to clear the yarn out of here. I've got too much yarn around me. Hold on one sec. Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, there's a project, there's an amigurumi. I've shared this with you and I don't know what's up with my hair. <laughs> I snagged it on something in the closet. Anyways, um, I was I shared with you guys a project that I'm working on. It's the hookers versus hookers. That's Mad Mimi Crochet and Jan the Alaskan Crafter. Well, this is, I, I want to participate this month and Juan is one of the contestants and um, you guys need to go over there. It, they're gonna share that at the end of the month, but I don't know, I'm sure Juan has talked about it. Um, I have till the end of the month to finish this. So I've got only what, a couple weeks, if that. But 
this month we have to make an amigurumi and I started one and then I got sick. Um, and I stopped working on it because I, you have to read a pattern and I just didn't feel like it, but I'm working on the octopus. I got all his legs done and you have to, in the project, it has to be an amigurumi and um, the colors that are mandatory to use is pink, blue, green, orange, and tan. Okay, so the, I've got the, the um, octopus is, its name is Octavia, and it is actually orange, but that's what he's supposed to look like. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. I hope I can do this. I started to do the bottom in royal blue, I'm struggling to see, so I changed it up. I'll show you what I'm using for the colors. This is the blue I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna use it for underneath the octopus. I can see this better. I, or I might use this blue. I may use this blue. And then the tan, I'm going to sew the bottom, you know, where the black and white was, I'm gonna use this to substitute white, the tan, and then this is going to be my green and I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the green just yet and I may just make a flower <laughs> and, and make it a girl pink and green but that is the pink I'm going to use so but yeah those are the cool colors I'm going to use for this I hope it turns out Definitely. And the pattern's a free pattern on Yarnspirations. Octavian the Octopus. Hold on. Okay. So, and I'm going to use, I was told I could use uh, these, these eyes. I think I'm going to use see, the eyes are white and they're round and it's kind of hard to I don't know what color I would make them blue but I couldn't put white I guess I could use tan as the white and then make it size blue I don't know it's really hard or maybe I make, make his eyes green so yeah and I can make a pink rose or flower. Attach it to its head, but see how the eyes are? I know I'm gonna have to make them, so I'm gonna make them, I guess I'll use the tan for the white, either the blue or the green for the eyes. The blue's gonna be for under the body the tan I'm gonna sew. We'll substitute the white. So I guess I'll just substitute the white of the eyes also. And green or blue eyes. Probably green eyes. I don't know. The green and pink, I was thinking about making a flower with a stem. And using like a pipe cleaner to put it on. I was over at Krista the Secret Yarnery. She makes some cool flowers. Um, yeah. This this was made out of cotton. This octopus was made out of the sugar and cream. And the contrast is either black or warm brown. So, but anyways, I am going to finish this and be part of the uh, hookers versus hookers. And you guys, if you like am making amigurumis, go over there, participate. You can make any amigurumi. It just has to have the color pink, blue, green, 
orange, and tan, right? Pink, blue, green, orange, and tan. I set it in the order I wrote it down, cool. So, that's one project I'm, hopefully I can finish it in the next few days because I'm gonna work on it and hold off on working on blankets that I've been working on here lately. Um, let's see. I was thinking about putting these eyes. I have um, I have all kinds of eyes, but these remind me of cockroaches. <laughs> but they're actually eyes. <laughs> they remind me of palmetto bugs. They're just not brown. But yeah, I got all kinds. I even got sunglasses for amigurumis. <laughs> what else do I have? These are just black. No, they're not black. They're, um, well, it's, it's, oh, I can open it. Okay. They're, um, iridescent eyes. Can you see that? I think they're pretty eyes. Yeah. And they're not real easy to put on an Amy because I've tried them. They're hard. Let's see what else do I have. I have a box of these. And I also bought some felt so I can make my own eyes if I decide to. These are the funky eyes. I think I shared these with you once before. They're like animal eyes. I got all kinds. What is this? I got all different sizes in those funky shaped animal eyes. And I got a bunch. I got all these on Timu. Like sinking. Let's see what else I have. These are the same as the others. I have another bag somewhere. Oh, I got some big old black eyeballs. <laughs> and I got little bitty ones. And then I have a couple more trays of like green and blue and red eyes. Just multi, oh, here they are. Well, here's some of them. Here's one that's red. They have plastic over them, so they look better than they actually appear. And then like hazel eyes. Brown eyes, blue, there's green eyes in there. So I got all this, a whole bunch of different eyes. I bought them on Timu because they were cheap. And, okay, I showed you that. And then I shared with you the other night I was working on this. I haven't done a lot. A whole bunch more. I did one. I think I did two skeins since I shared this with you. I did a purple. I finished the color. I did a purple and now I'm starting another colored one. Another skein of the color. But yeah. But I'm closing both ends so it won't be growing anymore. This is the last of the growing, and then I'm gonna start blocking it. So, but this is really pretty, and it's really squishy and soft. Oh, okay, let me go check on my lunch. Hold on, sorry about that. I um, was fixing lunch and doing a video at the same time, so I went and ate, so I'm back. Now, I know what I wanted to show you, that blanket the first blanket i showed you this is how i cake up the yarn i put two together 
I, I love how it works up in grainy squares. This is the last square that I'm making. So the blanket will be done tonight because I'm going to attach this and probably do a, a grainy square border, I think. Unless any of you guys have an idea of a better border. So, anyways, I know the other colors. The next, next one, I'm gonna use this. I didn't share with you the pink, but there is, this is um, like baby puzzle. Look her, queen of, queen of the castle. She's such a pretty girl. <laughs> As she gets older, she hangs out with me a little more. And the boys, basically, is who she hangs out with. They don't play with her as much as Marley played with her. We're going to get her a playmate eventually. But this yarn is Baby Puzzle. I held two together because it's thin. But what I held together with this was a solid and two colors. I held... There's three, is there three? Yeah, three strands of yarn because the baby puzzle, look how skinny that is. But one of them's puzzle and one of them's not. Um, I think this pink is, it's a multi-pink of the uh, village yarn. But there's lavender in there. It's really pretty. Here's another one. This is definitely Village in a solid, the peach. It turned out really pretty. But I just hold two together and I wind them up in my ball winder. I have a Stanwood ball winder. And then here's the white. I hold two together. It makes it really soft. There's two held together. I don't know what happened but we're missing one of the strands here oh it's just it's not part of it <laughs> but yeah got two held together it's perfect and then this is the last cake color and I've got the green pastel green and then um I think this is the village yarn. Yeah, it's the village yarn. And let's see. Oh, here's the pink I was talking about. I have a bunch of that. But yeah, I bought a crazy amount for a dollar a skein. And we were doing boggy blankets. Here's the pink. That's a village pink. It's pretty. And yellow. I think I showed that to you already. Oh, I've got a square. Huh. But it doesn't have the right colors. That's why I didn't use it. So anyways. And now I want to share with you some other squares that I'm going to put together next. Well, maybe not right away, but because there's a couple things I want to share with you. I'm going to finish the octopus and then finish that purple blanket, that old whip. And then I have a bunch of whips, y'all. And I know I have that, um, the all in one granny, the blue cardigan I want to make. Um, we kind of put that on the back burner for right now. Well, I was working on the blankets because I wasn't feeling good. Didn't want to have to think. And I also want to work on next, if I can find the rest of this yarn, I think I know where it is. But this is Yarntopia. I think this is a discontinued color. It may not be, but it's Hobby Lobby yarn. It's called Spice 05. And 
I know I've showed you guys this and I don't know. I was struggling with it and I got scared and put it down. <laughs> but why do I have it? I don't know why I have it like that. Oh, here's the back. But these are the shoulders. But it's a really pretty top. And I do need to finish it. And I'm getting better at crocheting wearables. And so I think I'm brave enough. I'm going to tackle this again. But I got to find the rest of the yarn. It's around here somewhere. I think I remember bagging it up. So I'm just about finished with one skein and now I'm going to start a second skein and I may not need any more than the second skein. It's a quarter sleeve, I think, top. I'm going to show you the pattern in just a second. But I had a couple subscribers ask me if I could change up some of my content that the bagging, they enjoy the bagging, but they'd like to see some different content. So you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try. <laughs> I've been doing the bagging because I have a lot of requests and a lot of people love it. So, but, but yeah, so I'm going to start working on that and I'm going to show you the pattern. I think I paid for this. Maybe not. It's called Stamford Pullover. It's an Annie's design. It may be free, I don't know. I may have paid for it. Um, I started this on 12, 14, 22. <laughs> yeah, so I was still very, gr very green when it comes to crocheting. But, um, number two, Yarntopia. So I only have two Yarntopias. And that's all it, I think that it re recommended. It's a number three yarn. But see how pretty that is. And I got all this done, but as you go down the sleeve, I got kind of afraid of the sleeve. So I stopped it until I could learn more. And I have learned a lot more. So. Yep, size. This goes up to a 2X if anybody's interested. It's at Annie's Stanford Pullover. Designed by Lena Skavagerson. S-K-V-A-G-E-R-S-O-N. For Annie's Signature Design. So this is in 2022, two years ago. Yeah, so... And the bag, the project bag, um, I think it's, she's got bones crochet or something like that. I can't remember her channel. Wait, maybe right here. Jennifer with she's got bones. I think it's she, something like that. She, she has a skeleton. She has a purple craft room. <laughs> she has like skeletons because she's I think she's in radiology so but it's kind of cool and I'll try to I'll try to find her channel and link it but she made this bag and she made me a couple with black labs in it it was absolutely adorable I showed it to you guys a long time ago it's in another video but I bought several bags from her and let's see what else what's this all right this i got definitely afraid of it's knitting and a lot of you know i i've just recently learned to knit what about a year ago but i want to make this tank top and it's called sun top vintage knitting pattern and it's on www.yesteryarn.etsy.com. It's a bought and paid for pattern, I think. 
I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But it recommends um, cotton yarn. These were the yarns, I guess, that were originally in it. And the yarn that I decided to use was, I got stuck, and this was before I learned how to pick up drop stitches, and I stopped. But now I know, I mean, I've made a whole sweater. I know I can make this now. Hang on one second, I'm untangling it. But the yarn I use is a big twist yarn. I believe it was last year I started this. And I've got, look at the stitch markers. I've got, that's from My Precious Yarnery. Angela makes these, or she did, but I got a bunch of them from her. But this is the front band for the top. Yeah. And the yarn that I use is Big Twist Relax. And I have quite a bit. I'm gonna have quite a bit left over. And what I have left over, I'm gonna put in my basket of mystery box yarn. It's gonna become mystery. I'm gonna have mystery boxes. But I'm collecting a bunch of yarn so I have a variety to pick from. Cause I wanna give everybody enough to at least make a project, a nice size project. You know, not just ones onesies completely. We'll have some onesies, but I never buy yarn in just one skein. I usually buy it too much. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to I'm going to start purging again some more yarn. So, the green room most of that yarn I've just recently bought. That's yarn I've bought over the past year other than up top the uh blanket yarn. I've had some of that for quite a while. And I have a lot of the Bernay Forever Fleece. So, but the colorway is called... I got it under tape. Color Sunrise. But yeah, it's, it's a cotton. I believe it's 269 yards, 3.5 ounces. 264 meters, 100 grams. And I'm sorry, I've got, I've got it taped so I can't see. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. Okay, so it's not 100%, but the pattern's really pretty. You know who inspired me to start knitting was, um, I'm drawing a blank, the Canadian crotchet or Debbie. She made a tank top that was yellow and I think either gray or white, but anyways, it was so adorable. So I went and found another pattern similar and I started crochet. Well, the person who inspired me to actually crochet was Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches. And um, yeah, that's when I started crocheting, but this top was inspired by Debbie over at the Canadian Crotcheter. She only does like one video a month and I miss her. <laughs> I love watching her channel. I think she's good friends with Je Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches too. I hear Jennifer talk about her, but yeah. Okay. So in the bag here, I believe this bag is by Yaddy. Um, she has an Etsy shop on YouTube. And actually, I've ordered some bags. And um, they're going to be a surprise. And they're from her shop. I love her bags. Um, I will look for her link. I need to write this down so I don't forget. I forget because I don't write things down. Hold on. And I'll have to watch the video to see. There was somebody else I was going to link, and I already forgot who it was. Where's my book? Oh, here it is. So, I need to link. And once I get, once I um, 
um, show you my my haul from Yeti. Yeti is Y A D I um, on Etsy. Oh no, that's not what the shop is called. It's where's my phone? It's sassy, sassy. I'm terrible. I'm sorry, Yeti. Um. There's my Etsy. My purchases. Sassy Sex by Yaddy. It's here. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the surprise. So let me hide what I bought. Here's her shop. Right here on the top. Sassy Yaddy by, no, Sassy Sacks by Yaddy. But we've become friends. And we text. But I love her bags. I love her bags. So I can't wait to share it with you guys. And of course, I'm going to have a nice giveaway. So, they're beautiful. All right. Also, I wanted to share with you, I have purchased this yarn here. I showed you guys. I have a discount link for that. And I'm going to let me write all this down. So Yaddy's link. And you may want to wait till I share with you and then I'll um, give you the discount link. And also I have a discount link for a recent a recent purchase. Oh, come on. I gotta close it now. Open it back up. <laughs> it's called Aqua Pony Designs. And I also have a discount for that, so I need to write that down. I'm gonna link those. And I'll keep it in my description for a while. The yarn's a little pricey, but it's worth it. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I showed you in my last video, I believe. What else do I have? Oh, I gotta call these people Ghost Town. I'm gonna look into how much those shirts are. Ghost Town Vintage Company. And Let's see. And the pink yarn that I bought was Unit Dye. Wait, yeah, Unit I Dye. I don't have a discount code, but that's where I got that yarn from. And then I Sew Knit. Also, I got some of that beautiful pink yarn. I am starting to support itsy itsy shop they're small businesses and i'm i have a business so i understand i need to support small businesses in the yarn community oops it is only saturday <laughs> you're on video <laughs> and this the Easy. colorful one is honey and clover knits Highly recommend them too. And then also wildflower yarns. So I'll I'll link all of those.
I want to start buying um, material. I want to start knitting with some of that bougie yarn. With the, spe the white yarn and the speckles. So, but yeah. Definitely want to support these people. I bought some patterns here. I realized I just, I bought and I never printed them. I need to go look for them. <laughs> All right. So that's it as far as links I'm going to work on putting in. Hey, girlfriend, what are you doing? She's so sweet. Is you watching me? Huh? Are you watching me? Huh? High five? High five? High five? High five? She's gonna make a liar out of me. No performing. High five! Susie, high five! High five? Hey, high five! High five! Okay, you don't want me to scratch you? High five. <laughs> Look at her. High five. High five. She usually always gives me a high five. High ten? High ten? No? Are you tired? Are you tired? <laughs> she's so cute okay so now I showed you some of my whips that I'm going to start working on um and I have other I have a bunch of whips but I'm gonna try to get some of these old ones done work on them and then you know of course, work on what I'm currently working on at the same time. And, uh, but another thing I want to start doing is, as a thank you for all y'all's support, I want to start doing some more giveaways. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time, and I want, I want to give back. Because you guys have been so supportive, and I'm very, I appreciate it, um, I started this channel um, for fun, something to do. You guys know I was a smoker. I had to do something with my hands. And I quit at the age of 55 and took up crocheting. And, and I still don't, I quit. It's been five years, because I'm 60. What's it doing? And um, never thought I could do it. And I did it like cold turkey. And I've, it's been, I was very successful. All those other gimmicks, the pills, the patches, they don't work. <laughs> they didn't for me. So, anyways, as a thank you, tonight I'm going to do a giveaway. And I'm going to try to do a giveaway every, I'm, I'm going to try every week. I'm going to do a small giveaway. Um... I would rather do a small so we could spread the love instead of one huge one a month. You know what I mean? But I want to start giving back. My channel is monetized and I want to share that with you guys. So, and I'll buy more yarn and give more yarn away um, just as a thank you. And so we can all have fun and get excited about it. Some people feel... I want to say this because I had a response, a comment in one of my um, videos talked about doing a giveaway and they didn't want to participate because I don't know if they were talking about me or another channel, but basically the gist of it is I don't want to participate because, um, I don't know if it's me, we're going to say it's me. Um, when somebody wins and it's a, and it's a um, another channel, I act so surprised. And if it's a regular, just a subscriber, I look like I'm disappointed. And that is by far so wrong. They've got me. If if they're referring to me, they're totally wrong. 
and if they don't want to participate, that's fine. But to say that I would be happier if somebody that is a YouTube channel win versus a subscriber, I don't have giveaways for subscribers to win. I mean, and usually, no, I said that backwards. I don't do <laughs> giveaways for YouTube channels to win. It's for subscribers to win. I'm sorry, my brain is weak. <laughs> Anyways, but it was just absurd. I had a, subs uh, uh, let me say this right. I had a YouTube channel win a giveaway. I've had a couple, but they participated. They weren't participating in the giveaway. They just made a comment and not reali realizing it was a giveaway, that they would win something. And, um, and I guess I was excited. Well, yeah, I thought it was kind of funny because they won, not a subscribe, you know? I mean, I, I don't know, um, but these giveaways are for my subscribers. And some channels are subscribers, you know, but most of the time they don't um, participate. Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches, she called me when she realized she won a uh, Vera Bradley bag and she said, Nancy, I did not want to be in the giveaway. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I already picked you. I've already announced it. I'm going to send you the bag. Um, her winning, that was crazy, you know, but she won fair and square. And I think some people were upset about that. I think, but you don't need to get upset. I mean, this channel is a hobby, okay? I've become monetized, and I wanna share that with you guys now. And, and that's the bottom line, you know? If a subscriber or a channel, if they're a subscriber, they can actually participate, but most don't want to. I don't participate in giveaways. And, um, and I've, Never, I don't think I've ever won anything. I don't think. I can't remember if I did. If I did, I don't think I've ever won anything. But, but yeah. So, sorry to share the drama, but there's always drama on YouTube. <laughs> but tonight, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to not give one giveaway, but I wanted to give two. I'm going to pick two different names and I'm going to pick the name on Monday. So it's only going to be a couple days and I will pick a name and then I will try to do another giveaway on Friday. Okay. But I want to share with you what I'm giving away and I want you to comment when you win on the same video of what I'm gonna give you a choice to pick, okay? So, you are ready? I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Okay. The first winner has a choice of a bag. No. Has a choice of Sorry, Susie. Of two bags of the purple. And I gotta write this down because I am forgetful. I am the absent minded professor. Where's my pencil? Okay. So. Okay, today is the 20th. So giveaway, and it's Friday. <laughs> you guys can't see what I'm doing. All right. So first, first winner. They have a choice of the purple. 
Picasso. Or two bags of the rainbow Picasso. Okay, and the second winner that I'm gonna pick, and this is world worldwide. So if you live in the UK or Australia or wherever, India, you can participate and I will make I will send it to you. Okay. So the second place winner has a choice of this is a beautiful yarn. It's Burnett Waverly. Burnett Waverly. And it's 223 yards in each skein. It's beautiful. Is that enough to make something? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I might have ordered two more. I will have to look. But right now it's three. If I have two more in this color, I will also send those. But so second, second place winner is Waver Length. Wave Length, not Waverly. I, I'm not even reading. Okay, and the colorway is Parfait. <laughs> All right, so you have a choice of this or or you have a choice of the dot hooks. I was, I got these for $15. I spent $25 on the set. So you have a choice of this or the yarn. And actually for the first place, you can choose if you want the hooks instead of the yarn, the stand and the hooks. I forgot about that. So both first and second have a choice. They can win hooks or they can win yarn. And okay, the other yarn that for the second place winner is Unforgettable in the colorway. I can't read it. Something bloom. Hold on. Hairloom. It's called Hairloom. But yeah, you get four skeins of Unforgettable Heirloom. I believe this is a discontinued color. I've had this color for a very long time. So you have a choice between that, Bernay, <clears throat> excuse me, or a hook with the stand. And these are dot hooks. And I'll show you what they look like. And the sizes, yeah, let me tell you the sizes so you know. <clears throat> they are, to me, this is my own personal opinion, to me, they are just as nice as the clovers. I can't, I mean, there's some structural differences, but as far as like using them, I can't tell the difference. The one benefit is they have longer handles and I have big hands. So I really appreciate these hooks being made. I wish Clover would make theirs longer. So these are all the colors. Can you see? And we've got a 2.5. 
a 3.5, a 4.0, a 2.0, 3.0, 6.0, 5.0 and a 5.5 so you have was it eight of them three four five six seven eight nine nine hooks yeah two four six eight nine and they're pretty they're so pretty and then I'm not going to break, I'm not going to pull the stand out of the plastic. I'm going to leave it. I have one right behind me. See all those hooks? Ugh. Look at all the hooks that it holds. <laughs> I've got a bunch of hooks in there, not just the clovers. So the stand is really nice. It's not bulky doesn't take up too much room <clears throat> so so yeah so second place you can win hooks the Burnett waiver is wave a length wave a length I don't know why I'm losing my voice <clears throat> and then red heart unforgettable and I forgot the color. Oh, come on. It's hairland. Can you see the color? Here, let me take one out so you can actually see the color. Very pretty. So, there's your choices. And then first place again, it's either two bags of this, or two bags of this, or if you want some hooks, you can choose the hooks. And what I don't give away will be in the next giveaway. And I'll add some more stuff to, to, you know, for choices. So I hope you guys, are, let me know if the way I'm doing this is wrong, you know, but I'm going to definitely start giving, giving away more yarn. And I have plenty of yarn to give away. And now my channel's monetized. So Everything that I make, I'm going to put back into my channel. Yeah. It, everything I do is for fun. Um, if you have any, if anybody has anything negative to say, I mean, productive criticism, I'm cool with. But if anybody's nasty about it, I'm going to delete your comment. Um, this channel is a positive channel. Um and I'm here to have fun and make friends, which I have all almost 6,000 of you guys. I haven't reached 6,000, but I'm close. But um, yeah, and I'm not doing giveaways to get more subscribers. Um, if I stayed at this number for the rest of my time with YouTube, that is fine with me. Um, I know these huge channels really have to deal with a lot of nasty people, which is sad, you know, but there are haters out there and my channel being small, we don't have so many haters, <laughs> which is nice because, you know, some things people say, I, you know, some of my subscribe, some of my fellow YouTube friends, um, they really get some terrible, uncalled for comments and a lot of it's just jealousy it's so immature and just stupid but there are stupid people in the world you know so but i'm just being honest with you guys so 
Monday, I'm gonna do a drawing and I've got the bags ready to pack whatever you choose. And I'm excited. Yeah, I, you know, either I can do, well, this time I'm gonna do the giveaway on Monday and then do another giveaway on the next Saturday or Friday and then pick another name I was thinking, or I could pick a winner, like let's say in the next drawing, I can do it on, I can do it again on a Saturday, you know, start a giveaway and then do a drawing on the next Saturday at the same time start another giveaway you guys let me know what you what you would like and the majority I'll pick um, but yeah I want to start doing this and it's not for more subscribers it's just giving back to say thank you for your support and being my friend your family so but yeah I, I don't I don't need have to I don't need the money I don't have to be monetized but it's nice to be able to use that money to buy yarn and you know put it into my channel I mean I own a business I have income I pay myself every week so um, this isn't about money or more subscribers it's not about a popularity thing um, it's just I'm giving from my heart to say thank you and um, and I hope that I get positive feedback because it makes me sad when people are nasty for no real reason so I delete those comments but I just thought I would talk about it and I won't talk about it anymore so Good luck to you guys, and again, I will do a drawing on Monday. So, I'll try to do the video during the day. So, yep. I'll show you some of the other yarn that I'm gonna probably put up for a giveaway next week. It'll probably be one of the Picassos. I've got Premier Just Yarn. I'll probably pick a couple other colors, but this is the, I believe most of you guys said you love this color the most. And I have the red heart, so I didn't buy this because I needed it. I bought it because I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to test it. And I do have a whip. See, I have another whip I never finished. But um, there's a couple people that don't, you know, someone, and I'm not going to say her name. I know who made the comment, but mentioned that to another YouTuber, how do you keep up with her? And I don't know if that was a negative comment, but it was taken negative by a lot of people. And um, I just, I, I roll with the punches. Um... Some people don't understand me. I'm extremely hyper. I have ADHD. It's never been medicated, but my mind jumps all over the place. And um, I can't always stick with the same project. I have to, I have, for me to keep going, I have to sometimes change colors. Colors really affect my inspiration I like bright colors um, I do sometimes crochet with like tan but nine times out of ten it's gonna it's gonna be put down <laughs> and I'm gonna go to another colorful project it's just how I how my brain works and I'm not ashamed of who I am and you know if you don't like my channel move on there are plenty of other channels you might love. Um, but yeah. So, okay, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> so, good luck, you guys. And I will see you Monday. Or you'll see me Monday. <laughs> and I look forward to all your comments.
So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. And um, there was something else I wanted to show you. But I, I'll show you next time. I've got a couple other whips I wanted to share with you. So right now, I got to finish this octopus. And tonight I'm going to finish this boggy blanket. And I might start some more squares. I know what I was going to show you. Hang on. But see, I'm all over the place. But that's me. I'm adding these to the next giveaway along with the Picasso and whatever else I think of at the time. So hang on, I wanna share something with you. I wanted to show you another boggy blanket, future boggy blanket. Mm -hmm.